You have no idea what you're dealing with. Sweet. Okay. How you guys doing? Uh, right. Yeah, good. We love yeah, your yeah. background. Yeah, what a Thank great you. poster. <laughs> Well, I gotta tell you, I saw Deadshot yesterday. I absolutely love this type of movie. I love the gritty crime drama, cat and mouse revenge thriller type stuff. I thought this was a fantastic movie. So great job on that. Well, thank you. Thank you. So my first question is, where how did you come up with the idea for the movie? Well, we we um we originally came to the movie through um Ronan Bennett had written a script that had gone through various different um incarnations and had never quite managed to be made um but we we read it and um and just kind of we we were very interested in the world uh of the troubles and we obviously are huge fans of the film films that from that that period uh from the 70s that you know that we grew up loving um and we we just we felt when we when we read this this old draft we kind of there was a lot going on in 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 our lives at the time you know with brexit and um with with lots of sort of issues that were coming up in in terms of uh masculinity and how kind of all of those sorts of things were going on and and we we felt that there was a fantastic opportunity to kind of funnel a lot of that um a lot of that stuff into a story like this into kind of this the, you know the 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 genre elements um of revenge but also the politics of it you know just with with kind of the idea of of these these sort of very toxic men like holland and keenan and 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 how they can kind of uh manipulate and cajole um younger younger men with perhaps simpler and more innocent desires at their, in their hearts into doing these these you know acts of atrocious acts of violence um it felt that felt to us very relevant um so we kind of you know that was what we sort of pitched and and uh and we were in, in incredibly fortunate that that uh, Chris, the producer, and and Ronan um, just let us run with it. Really, they kind of they got very excited by our take and and just said, "Go for it." Yeah, and I re what I really found fascinating was that the IRA sent like under like undercovers in nineteen seventies London, and I didn't even know anything about that. That's like shortly before my time. <laughs> But I just found it so like I love hearing about this because it feels like, you know, watching the movie, it took me to that era, you know, like I'm experiencing it, not just through the movie, but it's like I'm there, especially mm -hmm. when we meet these characters who and I like the fact that there's even internal strife between the factions throughout the film, like they have their own internal struggles as well, you know, as as you just mentioned, because of the the politics behind the violence. I mean, mm -hmm. That's, I just find that amazingly fascinating. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, what was it like working with the cast? I mean, this was a great cast. Colin Morgan was great as O'Hara, and, you know, I think I'm trying to pronounce his name right. Emil Amin was awesome as, um, you know, the officer. What was it like working with those guys? They they were fantastic. They were uh, Colin is from um, South Amar. Uh, it's where he was brought up, which is where the film starts, begins. The story begins, and um, he felt very connected to um, the material, to the character, to um, to the narrative around it, and um, it was immensely satisfying being able to explore it with, with him and um and and watch him work um and Amel also um brought his own very um personal experience to the part um, um and really related to um the character um and to um to, to which connected to his own in some ways connected to his own um, family background um and a certain type of experience um so both of them 
uh, in very different ways, um, really connected to, to to the to the people. Um, and then then we just really loved the the, the wider ensemble. I mean, obviously the the two great anchors, Felicity and, and Mark, um, and Tom Tom uh, von Lawler. Um, but also the uh, the the other ASU members and, um, and 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 characters. So yeah, it was a it was great to work with such a broad canvas in some ways. Yeah, one scene one scene that really struck me because you know that Michael lost his wife, and then at the same time, you know Morgan has his relationship. And I, what's what the one scene that really got me was when O'Hara goes into Ruth's Ruthie's um shop. And he's a mat. Then he has this imagination that he's shooting her. Like the gun shows up, and all of a sudden the shots. But then it, you see her go. Is this the size you want? And I'm like, oh, he did not. I was like, whoa, okay, he didn't kill her. But that's interesting that he, in his mindset, like he wanted to, but he just couldn't do it. I thought mm -hmm. that was a great scene. How how did that? How did you come up with that? Um, well, it was. I mean, now it's it's so fascinating when when. To hear it and and how you see it, I mean, Colin's performance in that is every time we kind of watch it, it's it's so good. And the way that he sort of um his mouth dries out, you know, it's sort of it, it's extraordinary. We kind of noticed it first in the cutting rooms because it's that thing when you get very nervous when you kind of suddenly all these emotions suddenly flood into your into your mind, and 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 he's almost paralyzed by. And and his his sort of yeah his his slavery glands I don't know how he did it but he just kind of everything he he sort of his voice catches and and uh, you really you really feel that moment um, but the 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 idea of kind of like exploring the uh, him shooting her and the the kind of imaginings. That really came about in the in the edit, you know, in the cutting rooms. Um, we were working. Our brother Ted edited the film, and and we were kind of working together. And and it sort of it it, I think it probably it it just it grew out of this, uh, you know, very much out of Colin's performance in a way, you know, and 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 the idea that um, well, we love we love we love it when films kind of explore sort of a memory or when they explore kind of um not necessarily reality but fantasy and and that kind of thing but you, you you're always sort of you're in two places or three places at once you know and in cinema and and we very much believe that uh so you see it in kind of steven soderbergh's films and nick rogue's films and and that kind of thing so we yeah we we loved playing around with with that uh in light of this this extraordinary performance of Collins. That's awesome. So how long did shooting take? And were there any like issues that you faced during production at all? The biggest issue was really time. It was just the clock. Um, we we had a shoot of about seven weeks, I think just under seven weeks. Um, and um, and it was just a huge amount to do for for a, for an action movie. Action sequences take a, a lot of time. They're they're very labor um, intensive, and um, and um, it was just we had to move very fast. But in in a way, that the pressures of that created a, a, a breathlessness in a sense, um, and kind of maybe became absorbed into the film itself and, and the visual style because we just didn't have time to um to overly shoot or overly choreograph things so there was a raggedness that that emerged that felt quite period so so it was um it was possibly the pressures were possibly a good thing in the end it was i mean i felt like it was totally worth it like i mentioned the the scene with the, the in the shop was really really got to me and then of course the finale when the big the big action you know reveal happens the confrontation you know it was like whoa okay I thought one thing was going to happen. It completely goes off in a different direction. But overall, this was a fantastic movie. I really enjoyed every second of it. Oh, great. Oh, fantastic. Well, I hope uh, I hope your friends do too. <laughs> <laughs> well, with that said, um, I, we, know, 
we know what the strikes that the strikes are still going on right now but did you guys have anything planned before all that went down that you're going to hopefully start up again down the road yeah i mean we're obviously the entire industry is affected by the strikes and we were actually not members of the wga um uh so but what we completely stand with with them in terms of um of, of what you know we we very much stand with the strike and with 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 our creative partners um yes the answer is we are itching to kind of get going and, and get cracking on another um another movie for sure uh it'd be great that's awesome great. well deadshot will be out on august 18th and those who love gritty crime movies revenge films and even ones that are set in like you know you like that old school flavor of action they're definitely gonna want to see this one and tom and charles thank you so much for taking the time to talk about it thank you thank you right. you guys take care thanks very bye. much all right bye-bye bye, -bye. bye.